Look at the front where it says Ames real big. You know what I get to do today, Kayla? We get to go to Schlotsky's, right? Because we're in Malmi. Well, yeah, we're in Malmi, and we'll go to uh, we'll go to Schlotsky's. But you know what I'm going to do first? Drop me off at Schlotsky's, right? No. I want Schlotsky's. No, but I'm going to pose as an employee of a certain store because of the place we're going inside of. Oh, dude, that's not a Schlotsky's hat. Let's go. That's not a Schlotsky's hat. I don't work at Schlotsky's. I work at Hills, and that's where we're at is an old Hills store. Well, it was Hills, and then it was Ames, and now it's the Malmi Antique Mall, and I've been dying to come out here and check this place out, and actually, Kayla was the one that kind of said, hey, let's go this weekend. I, every day this week. Let's go this weekend. Let's go. Let's go. Was, let's listen, go. I was looking forward to it. Are you paying for anything on this trip? Exactly. That's all right. I still came out here anyway because I wanted to. I'm paying for this trip by giving you my love and support. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, really. Anyway, yeah, jokes aside, we're out here in Malmi and we're at this old Hills department store, which, as you may have very well known if you grew up with Hills, know that this place became an Ames. And then after Ames closed in 2002 and basically abandoned all their properties. This sat for a little while until it became the Malmi Antique Mall. Now, I can't remember if this was something in between that time frame from Ames to this, but either way, when we go inside there, it's 2002 all over again. And uh, well, I'm excited to go in there. So let me get my mug off the camera, show you the outside real quick, and then go in. Yay! There it is, the beautiful Malmi Antique Mall. We brought the bee friend out for this journey road out here real nice check that out that's a step back in time anyway let's go in look they even got the old style scissor doors they still have them in here just from the hills days and look the restrooms right here at the entrance and this would have been the snack bar look they still have it oh my gosh the old hill snack bars in action look at that kayla <laughs> Ohio Bicentennial. How cool. I'll take a large popcorn and a hot dog, please. Look, they even got some of the old tables and seats from there. And check this out. Friendlies. I suspect the building out in the parking lot, which looks exactly like a Friendlies, which is now abandoned. I imagine that's what that was and that this came from there. Okay. Now, besides that, in the snack bar where I want to get a large cherry icy. Check this out behind me. You know how this was in Ames? The big customer service sign from AIM still in use. That's awesome. All right, just taking a little walk through here real quick. I mean, it feels like 2002 in here again, even though the shelving's all different nowadays. But look, the old lights and the ceiling still working. The old security windows, they got the mirrors on them up there. Oh, look at this. Old NASCAR race cars. Probably some of them might have even been sold in this building for all we know back in the day. So my grandma had this Santa Claus, and me and my brother, we were absolutely obsessed with this thing. We got a kick out of it. I mean, look. Aw, oh, damn, he's stuck. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. But yeah, basically, he would shake his hips, and he would move his hands up and down. Oh, my we God. Got a kick out of that thing. That's funny. <laughs> Wish he wasn't broke. He's a little stuck. We all are. Yeah, I hear you. Oil him up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be moving in no time. With all the presents he has to deliver, yeah, he's probably all sore. <laughs> Love the old windows in here, too, so you can see outside. It was very similar to... Uh, th this location is very similarly built to the one at the Northern Lights Shopping Center, which I did in Baden. And, I mean, a ton of them. There were several. I mean, a hundred or so hill stores that looked like this when they were built but it's so cool i love walking through here and looking through all the oldies and goodies in here and all the vintage items and then even i mean look look at these old tinsel trees my my dad's mom my my 
father, you know, his mom, my grandma on that side had a couple of these. And then my mom's mom and dad, my, those grandparents that had a little tree like that one down there. Let me zoom in a little bit closer since I'm so far away. So this is like a step back in time for me. Look at this, dinosaurs. I love watching this when I was a kid. That was a great show. I grew up watching that too. Look at it's Christmas time in here. Look at all these old ornaments that my grandparents would have had back in the day. Oh man, look at the old Heinz clock too. Pretty sure we had one of those too. And then Christmas goodies back here. Oh, the store's so cool. I love the store a lot and the Miller High Life. I'm sorry. Yeah, this place is awesome. I'm so glad we came out here. Look at this old diner. Isn't that cool? Cedar Point stuff. Check that out. Uh, good old Ames roof leaks. Uh, you could never walk into an Ames store without seeing moldy tile and dirty tile like that. And then if we go look back here, it goes all the way to the back of the store. They literally use this entire building, this entire store. It's awesome. Everywhere you look in here, it's vintage from the store itself to the items that you'll find in here. I can't, I can't even possibly film everything in this building because there's just so much stuff. Yeah, if we filmed this, we would be here for like three hours. Tops. Oh, <laughs> minimum. <laughs> but look, everywhere you look though, I'm finding a lot of Christmas gems in here, a lot of vintage Christmas items too, from, from the time when my parents and grandparents were children. So it's a pretty cool store. And if you're in Northwest Ohio, I definitely recommend you get here. Oh my God, I found a flip clock. I've been wanting another flip clock for so long. Or is that? It is a flip clock, but I've never seen them where they look like that. That's different. That's cool though. Look at all the Christmas goodies in this booth here. Oh man, we got lots of vintage Christmas goodies here. Not crackers. Oh man, what a step back in time. Look at the old presents. They're just a decoration. This place is so awesome. And over here, look at all these old magazines. Check out the old magazines they have in here. Wow. Cedar Point, ain't that cool. I have all kinds of goodies here. Old magazines, they got all kinds of stuff. Bunch of old cups. My... What? You serious? 13 bucks, wow, that's a lot of money. That's awesome though, look at that. Look, it even has the first location on it, Medina. It's 25% off, so it'd be about 10 bucks then. A little over, a little under maybe. Yeah, I think we're gonna buy that. See, I know I saw more mugs over here. Wonder if wonder if they have any others. It'd be nice to find a Hills one. Or a Names one. Look, they have another one. They have another Kmart one. I'm gonna leave that one here though. Ten bucks is enough for one cup. <laughs> That's awesome though. This booth has old signs and uh, NASCAR memorabilia. I saw this thing here, it's signed by Matt Kenseth. I know there are a lot of people out there that loved him. I used to hate him when he would race Jeff Gordon. Nowadays I miss him and Gordon. Both are retired at this point. And they got all the old cars here. Look at all these ones here. Look, service merchandise, look at that. Ronald McDonald House, the racing team, service merchandise racing. Oh, look, that's chocolate. I wonder how that would taste. <laughs> now we're in the back of the store. They got some Christmas goodies in here. And check this out, this Thanksgiving thing. My grandparents used to have this too. I wonder if we still have that in our house somewhere. In like my mom's attic or something at our house. I don't know. It might be still over there, but this place is awesome. We're in the back of the store. I mean, look how far back this goes. All the little booths in here. Let's look at this old Coca-Cola display. This may even be from Ames. 
from when they took over this place in the last few years. What a walk in time, though. Look at that. Look at all the Christmas goodies down here. Wow. I could spend all day looking through this stuff. Imagine me trying to do a video of everything in here for the Star Wars fans. Look at all the Star Wars goodies they have in this booth here. Look at that. This booth has some Christmas goodies in it, like the old snowman. They have a nativity scene in here as well. Some old records as well. That old telephone. Christmas wreaths. Everywhere you look in here, there's a lot of Christmas spirit. Even Hanukkah. They have a Hanukkah tin. Pretty cool store. Hey, Rudolph, how you doing? <laughs> okay, now this is cool. You can go back here into the old back room. So let's see what it looks like back here. Keep in mind, this used to be the stock room for Hills and Ames. The old back room. A lot more antiques back here, too. Very cool. Look at all the old sports cards. I saw pirates in there. If you get them, you might lose them. <laughs> I have to make jokes about the pirates. It was painful growing up with them. My goodness, though. It's pretty cool to walk through the back, the back room. See, they literally used the entire building for this antique mall. This place is awesome, guys. Highly recommend. I haven't even been through half of this store yet because there's so much, but I'm going to walk back here, too. So let's go back here. Down Wayne Alley. <laughs> Look at this old TV. My gosh. Wow. Very cool store. More goodies back here. Here's where their offices were. This would have been the offices for the back room. This was typical of Hills. They had all their offices in the back and usually customer service. Look at this Santa Fe puzzle that was framed. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Love taking a walk through the back room. As we continue on. Like this, oh, here's the part where you can't go anymore. It stops right here. Employees only beyond this point. They have to use some part of the store for themselves and to process goods and get them out for sale. Look at the, they got more seating from the old Hills snack bar. Oh, man. I wish I could just buy one of those tables and four chairs. <laughs> that would be awesome. What a step back in time, though. They have an awesome Santa train, Christmas train. Very cool. Lots of old TV guides. I guess people collect them. I have a couple from Dale Earnhardt from around the time of his untimely death. Back here, look, look at they got all more mugs. Antique autos. We saw what looked like an abandoned place for that. Antique autos. Like a place here in Ohio on the way out here. I don't see anything special on these mugs, though. Oh, look at the old McDonald's one, though. That one's cool. I've seen a few of those. Though. I think those are reproductions. This is vintage. This is actually original, as far as I know. Check out this old Centipede arcade game. It's only 1600 bucks, but it still works. Check this out. All in the family. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this show. They could never make a show like that nowadays. Everybody's so soft. But wow, what a cool experience walking back here in the old hills like this. Look at all the bikes, guys. Tons of bikes. The cool thing about this store is they have a little bit of everything for everyone. Not just these holiday displays and trinkets or die casts. They have clothing, too. Lots of clothing, I've noticed. Um, just showing you a few things while we walk around here. These old trucks. If I'd be lucky enough to find a Hills one in here, I would buy it. Now, I already have one, so I don't need one. But I would totally take another one for the right price. Look at this one from Kroger. Check that one out, guys. 
and they only want $15 for that. Packaging is kind of beat, but that's not bad. Over in this one, they got a few holiday trinkets. Little Christmas display. It's just lovely. I like it. What a great store. I'll literally spend hours in here if I look at everything, though. So I have to... I have to control myself and just kind of blow through everything here. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that, but I'll be in here all day and I'm pretty sure I'll make Kayla mad. If not mad, at least annoyed. Look at these old Arby's cups. Those are cool too. Yeah, what happens often is when we go into these antique malls and stores like this and I'm looking around, I like to look at everything. So oftentimes Kayla will breeze through everything and then she's just sitting down at the snack bar typically. It was especially funny in Texas. When we were in Texas, and like say her mom and her brother would go with us and we'd all go together. Her mom can spend a lot of time looking in these antique malls and stores too. Don't get me wrong, she can. But I'm usually the last one in the store and they're all sitting waiting in the truck in the AC waiting for me. <laughs> so then I try to hurry it up, but I could spend all day in here. It wouldn't be hard to do at all. There's some holiday trinkets in here too. A lot of old... Old Christmas goodies. Vintage Christmas goodies. Very cool. Look at these old General Mills cups. Toledo. Definitely picking up the Kmart one, though. That's a badass find. Check out these pennants on the wall. Monte Carlo. I love that design. I mean, I like the uh, 2000 to 2005 design much better. In 06, they modified the front end a little bit and the body dropped down to the ground a little bit more and I thought they were kind of ugly, but that's cool. I love that it has Dale Earnhardt on it too. Check out all the Christmas cookie jars. They have a lot of Christmassy cookie jars here. Lots of them. And they just go on and they go on here. And then they even have other cookie jars here. Look at these ones. My gosh, growing up we used to have one just like this, the cupcake. I don't know if my mom still has that or not. Look at this Kellogg's one. I have more over here too. Mrs. Fields, John Deere, road construction ahead. Oh, you mean guy standing on the side of the road eating lunch ahead? Yeah, then yeah, that, that's what that should say. Check out the Christmas goodies and cheer in this booth. They can make a tinsel tree look good because I'm not usually the biggest fan of them. I like the fall decorations in here too. Since Thanksgiving did just pass when we're here filming this. Elvis. <laughs> yeah, but they have so much in here. And I think it's pretty cool that you can go into the back room. This is where customer service would have been. This is where Hill's customer service would have been. Let's see what we can see back here. Does it go back? No. It just stops right here. Patriots fans, yuck. No offense, guys. I know you guys can get on my Steelers and go right ahead. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Is this place cool or what? I mean, look at that old school feel to this building. How it's still like 2002 in here. I bet some of these bulbs are from back then, too. I wouldn't be shocked at all. What's this for McDonald's? I just happened to notice that. Little vintage Christmas ornaments. Now this booth has a lot of Hot Wheels in it. A lot of die cast. A lot of special ones like that too. And one thing I love to do when I see these old die cast cars that here, especially the Hot Wheels, which were basically sold everywhere back in the day. Um, when you're inside of an old hills like I am right now, and you find one with a hills tag on it like that, and to think that was a dollar, or no, that was 79 cents back then. Now it's five bucks. But these are collectibles. You don't see these anymore. Check this one out too. Toys R Us. Isn't that cool? And then look, another another hills one. And look at this one, J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny. Look, Kmart, old old Kmart too. On that tag. Merry Christmas. I like that. Even though it's a tinsel tree, it's vintage for sure. Check out all the vintage toys in this one too. Look, Rocky and Bullwinkle. 
Okay, I know I don't need any more wall art, but that's only 10 bucks, and that's from like 1978. I was looking at it. It has a copyright date on the bottom. 10 bucks. I kind of want that, to be honest. That's a pretty cool sign. I think I'll grab it. Look at this green chair. Or, well, it's like three of them that go together. That is popping, man. I don't even know what time era that's from. And then, out of nowhere, Santa. He's just watching over us. Creepy. Just kidding. Love you, Santa. We have a lot of vinyl and books in here. Lots. Wow, look at this vintage uh, recliner. It's not a recliner, but it's one of those outdoor chairs that rocks back and forth. We had one like that too, but unfortunately one of the floods that we got hit with, I think it was the 04 flood, got rid of that. Hi, Mr. Snowman. How you doing? <laughs> look at the old sled. This store is just incredible. Definitely recommend. Hi, Santa. Look at all the Christmas goodies on this display. Look at them all. Little trinkets. Chubby little Santa with a bell. Look at those trees. I love these ones. Oh, look at that with the birds. That's different. Instead of like the lights, it's it's actual birds. Hey, Rudolph. Yeah, is this store cool or what? By the way, for the die cast collectors out there, let me show you what I just found. First of all, to my friend Brandy. Brandy, if you see this, get your butt out here. I know you love collecting cameras. Look at that. Cool. I love the old clocks and the old TV. But anyway, to the diecast collectors, check this out. Look at all the vintage police cars in here. Race cars, old cop cars. Wow. Look at all the different towns and cities they have them for, too. State Troopers. Look at this one. Metro Police. My goodness. Lots of race cars, too. Not just NASCAR, but IndyCar. Kart. Formula One. Look at them all. Look at, I mean, they just have tons of them. And back to the police cars. Look at that. That is an extensive collection there. I would be willing to bet this guy selling these, or lady, whoever it is, would want to buy my Pittsburgh ones that I have. I also have a 118 scale 2002 Chevy Monte Carlo that was all done right to look like a Pennsylvania State Trooper car. Even though they never used Monte Carlos, it looks really cool. And I've had that thing for about, oh, about 15 years now. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, there's a State Trooper. Look, for PA. I severely doubt they would ever drive a Magnum. The Magnum would fall apart before it could even get anybody off the road. <laughs> Whoever did the job on this, though, did a great job on the detail. It's just funny that it's on a Magnum. And even that one, the Tennessee State Trooper, that's on a Dodge Intrepid. Look at that. <laughs> hey, the work is done very, very well, though. I'm not nixing. I'm not knocking on the, uh, the work. Oh, here's a Pittsburgh one right here. This is exactly like the one I have. This is exactly like the one I have. Now the difference on this one is on the roof, mine says 4409 instead of 3150. And what 4409 stands for is the date of the fatal shooting of the three Pittsburgh police officers. It was right about Easter time. Um, they were unfortunately killed when they were at a person's house to do an arrest. And uh, it was a very tragic thing and the guys got the death penalty. He's, I think he's still awaiting uh, the, to actually get the death penalty done, if you know what I mean. Or he might have already had it done by now, I don't know. I don't want to give that guy any attention. But, wow. Oh, look, we have more mugs over here. Let's check out these mugs here. Well, glasses, not mugs. Happy Holidays from Coca-Cola. Star Trek. Look at this old McDonald's one. Very cool. Big boy. 
Christmas big boy mug oh, yeah. or glass. My goodness, look at all the teddy bear figurines. All these tiny little teddy bear figurines and even the uh, other figures. They have so many. They even have a bunch on here. Hello, Santa. Boy, this guy got a lot of NASCAR collectibles in here. A lot of NASCAR diecast. Old Jeff Gordon. Look, Tony Stewart's autograph. Jeff Gordon's uh, IROC car from the uh, Race of Champions. I miss that. They only did it a couple times a year. All the Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart cars. I saw another Tony Stewart autograph, that one there. Pretty cool. We'll say that. A lot of old NASCAR goodies in here. Look, the old Burger King car for Joe Nemechek. Wow. Step back in time, all right. Back to when NASCAR was actually good. And lots of Christmas goodies. Uh, Budweiser Steins. And a nice nativity scene. Now, that's a really nice one. And lots of nutcrackers, too. So I found another Santa, like the one Kayla was talking about. And this one's actually wiggling his hips. <laughs> that's awesome. Check out Jeff Gordon's uh, Brickyard 400 win. Cool stuff. I love Gordon. Miss him on the track. I'll say that. Wow. Look at all the Christmas stuff out here. Very nice. And it's fitting that they're playing Christmas music in the store here, too. Budweiser. Old beer signs. Oh, wow. Coca-Cola galore in here. Wow. Lots of Coca-Cola goodies back here. People like to collect Coca-Cola stuff. Pepsi stuff, too, but you don't see as much Pepsi goodies as you do Coca-Cola stuff. Just wish I could find something that says Hills on it, because Hills and Coca-Cola had a thing together. But it's nearly impossible to find anything like that nowadays. Though, you do once in a while. It's just rare. Like that Hills Coca-Cola cup I found at Goodwill in the middle of nowhere last year. That pink one. That was cool. Here's a picture of it. Yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome t to find that. There's a Pepsi glass up there. Lots of vintage toys. Wow. So I had to take my hat off because it's really hot in here. But anyway, my point is Kayla just went up to the front of the store and she just alerted me that the B is covered in snow. All the cars are, so I'm wondering what surprise we're going to be seeing when we go out the front door when we leave here. She said it was completely covered. Good thing I put a snow brush in it. They were calling for snow this weekend, too, so I'm not really shocked, but I didn't think it would happen that quickly in here, even though we've already been in here for almost two hours. Look at this old chair. Wow. <laughs> uh, more vinyl. I had a lot of vinyl in here. There's a lot more in the back, which I haven't shown on camera, because like I said, if I tried to show everything, we'd be here all day. Digging that. The old Snap-on mug. That's cool. Since I use Snap-on tools at work, and that's all I buy. That's pretty cool. But I'm already buying the Kmart one. And I really shouldn't buy any more cups because I have too many already. That's pretty cool. The old school Barbie tea set. That's a vintage find right there too. Now that's cool. A key hook for work. Vintage 160. I, I believe it. Snap on stuff sells for a pretty penny. That's why I'm surprised that cup is as cheap as it is. But that's pretty cool. I recognize that. <laughs> Hi, Santa. This place is awesome. What a step back in time. All the old vintage goodies in here. This place is pretty awesome. You need to stop here. If you're near the Toledo, we're just outside of Toledo here. Look at all these old tables and chairs. Old glassware. Wow. Like I said, a little bit of something for everyone. I like this old Christmas candle, candelier. Sorry, cannot talk. Old jewelry counter with goodies in it. 
I think it's pretty cool to take a walk back in time and go through this old Hills department store and then Ames. Look, lots more vinyl. Lots more vinyl. Much, much more. Well, these are magazines, actually. And I actually saw comic books a while back, too. But I didn't get those on camera. Because, like I said, it's just impossible to film everything in here. But it's pretty cool to take this walk back in time, if I haven't said that enough in this video. But I hope you're enjoying. I really do. I'm, I'm enjoying putting this video together for you guys, let alone looking at all the goodies in here and actually supporting this place and buying a couple of things. Because it's people like you and I that help make this place what it is. Look at these chairs. These vintage chairs here. Very cool. Yep, like I was saying, though, it's people like you and I that make this place what it is. You know, we support them, the people that work these booths. We support them by buying a couple of things here and there. And, I mean, they make a lot of money here. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty busy in here, obviously. So they're doing something right. And it was pretty cool to come here and see it for myself and show you guys a little bit of this place. While I can't show you everything, gosh, I wish I could buy that Molson sign, but I'm sure that is a lot of money. But that is awesome as hell. VHS cassettes, CDs, more VHS. Wow, lots of books, too. They have a lot of books in this one. Look at that. Are these 8-track tapes? I think they are. Another oh, no, VHS. Wow. Yeah, lots of DVDs, too. They have quite a lot of everything in here. Look, what did I just see? Blues Brothers. That's cool. Four bucks. That's pretty cool. I like that movie a lot. Wow, though. Yeah, if you guys come to Toledo, definitely stop here and support these people here. Help them out. I'm sure there's something in here you would find because this place is huge. And if you've seen my videos at the abandoned Ames that I've done, you could, you just know how large those stores were. So you get an idea of how big this place is. It's like Kmart. It's it's the whole store. The whole store is used, which is fantastic, and, and including the back room which is really fantastic, just like the Christmas goodies in this booth. I like that they put the lights up. Look at the uh, old vintage ornaments. Wow. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed putting it together for you guys. I really did a lot. Wow. Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas Wonderland here. That is a goofy-looking tree, but that is cool. That had to be personally made. That's cool, though. Damn. A Sony Walkman. I used to have one of those when I was a kid. I'd listen to that on the school bus before I got a CD player. <laughs> oh, wow. That brought me back to my childhood. Where the hell did all those years go? A little Sony Walkman. I almost want to buy it just for nostalgia purposes, because I'm pretty sure mine's long gone. I think I lost that in the 04 flood from hurricane ivan but that is that's pretty cool to see that oh look they got a little telescope space invaders but that's pretty cool to see that there's one more look at it 65 dollars that's about right anymore <laughs> and look at that a furby oh my gosh <sighs> wow vintage toys hi nutcracker friends how you doing you doing all right all right that's good <laughs> Four Christmas coasters. Battery-operated electronic musical train set. That's pretty old. I love that they're playing Christmas music in here, too. And with all the Christmas goodies that I'm seeing at several of the booths, I haven't even shown nearly everything in here. I'm just showing snippets. But, yeah, definitely get out here. If you're near the Toledo area for any reason, we're only a couple of miles out of Toledo. You won't be disappointed. And they're open seven days a week. I believe the hours are from 11 to 7 or 12 to 7. And maybe Sunday, I think, like 12 to 5. But they're open seven days a week. Anyway, here's one last look at this old Ames and Hills store. I love that they still use the Ames customer service sign. That's cool. I wish they would have used the other ones, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And the fact that they utilize the old Hills snack bar, that's pretty awesome. 
But yep, there's your last look at the store. This place was awesome. I need to go pay for my items that I'm buying and head on out. And wow, we'll definitely stop back, guys. All right, so we just left. We just stepped outside. There's no snow on the car. I think it melted because it's like almost 40, but there is a lot of snow coming down. But that was a cool, cool store. Ooh, I got snow going in my eyes. I highly recommend. Literally. <laughs> To think years ago that said hills on it and then it said Ames. Oh gosh, that was such a cool store though. I'm really glad we came out here and checked this place out. And I got a couple of goodies anyway. Whew. All right, so we're back in the in the Z, the B. <laughs> <laughs> we have two cars, so I got to remember which one we took. But yeah, we're back in the uh, the B friend, and yeah, I mean the back of the car is covered in snow. Um, snow pretty good out there now actually, but. Anyway, my point is this was really cool. This is a really awesome store. The people here are so nice and friendly, too. Uh, <laughs> I spoke with a couple of the vendors in there. They're trying to make a dollar, you know. They're like, we'll work out a deal with you. And it's like, oh, I really appreciate it, but I have so much stuff at home already. And, you know, I, I could sp easily spend a lot of money in there for some of the oldies I I've seen. Saw one thing in there that I was like, oh my god, I need to take it home with me. It was this Alice Cooper doll. It was like a three foot tall <laughs> Alice Cooper doll. It was, the box was a little dented up, but it was in the box and I thought, oh my gosh, it was so cool. That's cool. So, And then I found a bunch of old Star Wars stuff. Because my mom, she loves Star Wars, especially like the old school Star Wars. And I'm I always on the hunt. Me too. I'm always on the hunt to find her old school Star Wars stuff, but the stuff I found, she already had because she's like a hardcore collector. Yeah, they they have a lot of goodies at their house, and this place has a lot of Star Wars goodies in here to buy, mm -hmm. and it changes daily. I mean, these people bring in new items every day, so you never know what you're going to find here, but like I said a million times in this video, if you're out in the Malmi area, Toledo area of Ohio, northwest Ohio, stop here, check this place out, support them good store good family run business and i can finally check it off my list we finally stopped here and uh it was worth it and well we're gonna have some fun while we're out in this area and uh make the best of our weekend so anyway we hope you enjoyed the video uh if you did you know what to do we're gonna take off and get this heater cranking and get something to eat because we're cold and we're hungry yes and uh Watties, you are getting in my belly <laughs> but anyway on that note, take care. Stay awesome, everyone. Have a Melanie Antique Malicious Day. And we'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, and have a Schlotzky's Malicious Day because we're about to go to Schlotzky's. And if they're closed, I'm going to be really sad. And also, there's a third one. He's pointing at his hat. <laughs> have a Hills Licious Day. Oh, did, did I cover everything? Is there anything Might else? Might as well say Ames while you're at have it. Have an Ames Licious Day. Have a Snow Licious Day. <laughs> have a. We'll see you. Get food in my belly right now. Okay. okay. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye. Bye.